All right, we're here uh, doing my first indirect bonding case. We call it an IDB case. Each individual bracket was selected uh, by bracket type. So this is the, the brackets that we're gonna use. Um, with this particular patient, we're doing upper anterior white brackets or clear brackets, um, but we're doing the normal silver ones on, on the bottom. Uh, just for cosmetic reasons, but you can see on the computer, we've placed the brackets on the models as we um, want them to appear. And then based on this, we actually made a three-dimensional bracket holder that we use to hold, hold the brackets. It's called an IDB tray, but this is what it looks like. We have it right here and you can see the the brackets are in it. So we put the brackets inside this tray and then we, we will transfer this to her mouth. Here's the 3D printed models that we use. So based on our 3D scan, we produce these 3D printed models. The cool thing about this is I can actually see what the teeth are gonna be moved to or what they're gonna look like after we're done. So I can just click on this button right here and it shows our final result like where the teeth are actually going to move to after the braces are are done so this helps us helps us see what kind of result we're going to get so it gives us a lot of uh precision it during the process of teeth for for bonding so we're, we're doing a little etching to soften the enamel uh, before we put the glue on i put just a little dot of glue on each bracket, uh, the least amount as I could, small amount so it doesn't go everywhere when we put it on. You can see we have a good frost on there so we know we have a good good etch. We're using uh, Voco Futura Bond. It's a good universal bonding agent. So now we have everything bonded. So we're going to transfer the tray to the mouth. Okay, now we're curing each individual bracket. We put the tray in here. You can see the brackets are tied up against the ind individual teeth. And we're curing them as best we can. So we started from underneath so we could get light to the actual bracket and the bonding agent. Okay, we. Uh, Finished putting the brackets on the upper. We put the wire in the upper so far. Okay. And then the bottom brackets, uh, we haven't put the wire in just yet, but wanted to show you the molar buildup. There's filling material on the first molars. That has two purposes. It gives her something to chew with, number one, but it also um, helps protect these front brackets so every time she bites down those front brackets aren't knocked off by these upper teeth. So they're meant to be in there for three or four months until this bottom arch levels out so that we do reducing that curve of speed and then once the bottom arch levels out then we can remove those buildups. So we finished the job. She's up here at the front desk. How do you feel? Uh a little tight, but a good. Little tight, mm -hmm. jaws tired, probably. Yes, it is. But those little dots that you see will come right off once she brushes her teeth. All right. Well, thank you so much. You did a great job.